Hello, investors and traders, and welcome to the weekly market report with the market guys. I'm AJ Monty. This is a chart of the Dow Jones Industrial Average ETF, ticket symbol DIA. And as I zoom in here, you'll see that these horizontal lines are the support and resistance lines that I drew from last week's report. And this diagonal line was the forecast and what I thought the market would do this week and it's been a very technical market and as you can see the market did move up to test this resistance line it then pulled back and I'm going to keep this diagonal trend line in there this is more or less representing a leg simply because the diamonds today on the 12th of June I just want to date this for you it gapped down so if I zoom in just a little bit more, you'll see that this gap right here is one that needs to be filled. The market very rarely leaves the gaps open, and there's a very high percentage of the time that the gaps fill. So this is now going to act as a magnet. So I think the Dow could come up a little bit more to fill this gap, but I really do not think we're going to break over this resistance area right here. I think that will hold, and then eventually we'll pull back from resistance. You know, if we look at a more broad based market, you can see the Russell 2000. Again, I left my lines on this chart to show you exactly what we expected. This was the upward trend or leg that I was measuring. I did feel that we would accelerate that to move up, test resistance. We came within pennies here and then pulled back. So I think this short term diagonal line, the leg, will hold into next week. But you need to put your stops below that, that level because if we start to break down below the key support levels here and if in fact we do pull back from resistance and start to go lower, I wouldn't be surprised if this all turns out to be a double top which becomes much more bearish. So keep an eye on the diamonds, the Russell 2000, and also, as we look at the next chart, I want you to stay focused on the S&P 500, which is also trading very technically. Again, you can see that we held this trend line. I did think that we would move up a bit, and we did. In fact, the end of my forecast here came right to the high on Thursday the 11th, and then we pulled back. So I can remove this for you right now. We'll take that out, and I'll redraw what I think is going to happen. I think we could bounce off of this support level right here. I'm not going to go as far to say that we're going to move all the way up to this resistance area because I don't know if the market has that much in it because we are already in a bearish state. You can see that we have lower highs forming right here and we're forming almost another triangle. So this is a market that's trading on very, very thin ice. And anything to the downside or any break in support or acceleration of a move lower can really trigger a, a longer term sell off as we move into the rest of the summer. Now, if you look at the Qs, that's the QQQ, also known as the power shares, this chart represents the NASDAQ market, the tech sector, and such. Here is what I thought would happen. This was my short-term leg, the bounce that I forecasted. It moved almost again to the penny of that line and then pulled back. We did, in fact, on the Qs, gap down. There's a gap right there. And so that gap will act as a short-term magnet to the upside. So again, what I'm going to do is I'm going to erase this line from last week. I'll redraw another one for you thinking that we're going to move somewhat like that to fill this gap, maybe even test resistance here. So I'll draw a horizontal line for you right there and keep it super simple. You know, drawing support lines, trend lines, and even resistance lines is not as difficult as you might think. In fact, if you go to the Market Guys website and click on the video tab right here, you'll see a library of what we call market shots that really describe the different patterns that I talk about all the time. You can see that we just talked about trading the gap. This is a very popular video that can help you learn how to trade gaps and even how to identify them. 
And then also, you want to look at the double tops. This is a video that I think is very pertinent to what's happening now because a lot of the markets are starting to form double tops. And if you, if you continue to take long positions or bullish positions when the market is forming a topping position, that actually could be very risky for you. You don't want to take too much risk in this type of market because the signals are showing much more bearish conditions and you want to prepare for a downward move. So remember, go to the Market Guys website just right there on the home page and click on the video. Now finally, if we take a look at the volatility index, that's the VIX, ticker symbol VIX, You'll see, again, I've left my lines on here from last week. I did say that the VIX would pull back to fill this gap. Please go back to last week's report and review that so you can see just how accurate these charts really are. I mean, your confidence can absolutely be built up once you know how to read these signals because they, they do become very reliable. And not only are you using them to forecast uh, trends and identify your price targets, but it's a great risk management tool knowing that, hey, when a gap fills, there's an 80% chance it will reverse. And that's why I said there's a good chance the gap would fill here and then bounce. Just that's what this line represented, the bounce off of this gap fill support level. And what happened? Again, we came within pennies of that line, and then again, we bounced. Now, I'm going to erase all of the lines on the VIX and redraw them because you need to know how to use the VIX as the leading indicator. First and foremost, this is the support level that we are using to identify the lows on the VIX. The VIX is a contrarian indicator, so I do think the market is going to start to move up on the VIX, maybe even test the secondary resistance area right here. I'll draw a horizontal line right there, and then it could possibly pull back. So this is what I'm expecting the VIX to do next week. Again, remember, if the VIX goes up, the general market, particularly the S&P, is going to move opposite of that. So if the VIX moves up, keep an eye on that, the S&P is going to drop. And that's another reason why you need to keep your stops in place to protect yourself against any downside risk. So that's this week's Market Report with the Market Guys. I'm AJ Monte. Thanks for joining, and we'll speak with you soon. So long.